The real history of aerobics workout for weight loss The history of aerobics workout with regard to weight loss can be traced way back to the days when the Dutch people came up with the term calorie cycling. This was back in the 1750s, but at that time there were no treadmills, elliptical trainers or even gym machines available then. However, there were bikes and rowing machines that were used as part of the weight loss regimen by the Dutch people during those times. Do you know who invented the aerobics workout? You might assume that aerobics workouts originated in a state of that art gym, with a young athletic trainer on hand to give your heart and muscles a good workout, but it wasn't like that at all. In fact, your first aerobics workout may well have taken place on a muddy field in ancient Greece. Don't worry it was nothing like you see on X Factor. The word aerobic comes from two Greek words, aeros meaning air or gas, and bios meaning life. So aerobic literally means living in air or breathing fresh air. The idea of physical exercise for health purposes goes back thousands of years. But it wasn't until recent times that we began to understand how important exercise is for our bodies. In 1793, an English doctor called George Taylor published his book A Treatise on Laughter. He claimed that laughter could help cure many illnesses including asthma, gout and even epilepsy. He also believed that laughing would strengthen your lungs by forcing them to work harder than usual. Taylor also suggested that people should do more sporty activities such as walking, running and jumping around to get their hearts pumping faster. What is cardio? What are its benefits and what are the different types? Cardio is any form of physical activity that gets your heart rate going to stimulate aerobic exercise. It is a type of training designed to improve cardiovascular health, boost metabolism and burn calories. The benefits of aerobic exercise include improving cardiovascular endurance, burning fat, building muscle and increasing energy levels. There are several types of cardio including high-intensity interval training heat, walking and running. Heat involves alternating high-intensity intervals with low-intensity intervals allowing you to maximize your time and effort while targeting fat loss. Walking is an easy way to get started with cardio as it doesn't require any equipment or expertise. Running can be challenging for beginners, but if you build up slowly over time it can be an effective way to lose weight. Running outdoors has added benefits such as fresh air and sunlight which can help motivate you. What are HIIT workouts? Tabata workouts more. HIIT, Tabata and circuit training workouts are highly effective when it comes to quickly shedding fat and getting a lean body. It's important to understand how each one works in order to create an effective workout regimen. HIIT workouts consist of short bursts of intense activity followed by short rests. These types of exercise increase overall caloric burn, raise heart rate and build more lean muscle. Tabata is a heat workout that consists of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for 8 minutes. It is named after Dr. Izumi Tabata who discovered its effectiveness at Japan's National Institute of Fitness and Sports. Circuit training workouts involve moving from one station to another with little rest in between exercises. These types of exercises improve cardiovascular health, stamina and endurance while burning fat. There are many other high-intensity interval training heat workouts including boot camp classes, boxing or spinning classes. A common misconception about HEAT workouts is that they are only appropriate for those who want to lose weight. However, they can be beneficial to anyone looking to get stronger and fit into their skinny jeans again. What are the best exercises to burn fat from your upper body? What are some of the best upper body exercises to burn fat? When it comes to burning fat from your upper body, what kinds of exercises should you be doing? Should you be focusing on free weights or should you be using dumbbells? Or should you take advantage of cable machines and other resistance tools at your local gym? And how long will it take before you start seeing results in terms of a slimmer and toned upper body? Let's find out. Here is an overview of three different types of exercise that you can do in order to burn fat from your upper body. Each one has its own benefits and disadvantages, so make sure that you choose wisely when planning out your workouts. You don't want to waste time working with an exercise that doesn't deliver great results. The type of exercise that really burns fat depends on several factors. First, there is intensity. Second, there is duration. Third, there is frequency. So let's look at each factor individually and see which exercises work best for each category. What are the best exercises to burn fat from your lower body? Exercises like squats, lunges, leg presses and leg extensions can help you lose fat from your lower body. These exercises work to build up your quadriceps, hamstrings and calves in a way that lets you burn off fat quickly. You can even do other cardio activities on top of these exercises for an efficient workout routine that will burn fat fast. The more muscle mass you have, especially in your legs, the more calories you'll burn while sitting at your desk or watching TV. 
and since muscle burns more calories than fat does, building up those muscles is one of the best ways to improve your metabolism so that it burns calories faster throughout each day. But if you want to shed some serious pounds, don't forget about high-intensity interval training heat. This type of exercise requires short bursts of activity followed by short periods of rest. Heat workouts have been shown to burn fat fast because they elevate your heart rate into your aerobic zone the range where oxygen intake significantly increases. In addition, they also lead to a greater number of calories burned after exercising when compared with low-intensity workouts that keep your heart rate in its resting state. What are some tips to lose weight fast for women? There are a lot of effective things that you can do to lose weight fast, especially if you want to lose weight quickly so that you can fit into your prom dress or wedding dress. You should try to be as lean as possible if you're going to wear something tight and revealing. If you don't think that losing 10 pounds in 2 weeks is doable, then maybe losing 5 pounds will be more realistic for your short-term goal. The bottom line is that you need to get serious about losing weight if you want to look good in your outfit. Here are some tips on how to lose weight fast asterisk drink plenty of water asterisk avoid processed foods asterisk exercise daily asterisk eat whole grains instead of refined ones. Remember, losing weight fast is not always ideal, so make sure that you have realistic goals when it comes to losing weight. What are some tips to lose weight fast for women? What are some tips to lose weight fast for women? Write a professional blog post based on the following description a detailed list of all vitamins and minerals needed by men women during their pregnancy period. If you want to lose weight to eat supplements then go to my video description, if the product is good for you then you purchase otherwise did not buy. Here I explain in detail the real history of aerobics workout for weight loss if this video is helpful for you. Please subscribe to this channel and click the hit button, because without your help I cannot grow my channel.